Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. The name is Faiza. If you're new here, thank you. If you're an old member of the team, thanks for your love and your support. So, for my margarine icing recipe, I got a lot of questions about if it will work under fondant. Yes, it can work under fondant. I have been doing that for years now. Unfortunately, with our climate or let's say our humidity, you know, you cannot put butter on a cake, put it in a fridge and put it back out and roll fondant and cover it with it. You know, the changes in the temperature is so drastic that you have a fondant that is sweating. So what I do is I do margarine icing and I kind of mix it with cake crumbs, cover the entire cake roll up my fondant, cover it with it, and it can be on the table for two, three days. It will not melt off nothing. In up, you know, your climate, it's just, it, it's perfect. Nothing happens to it, it does not sweat, it does not do anything. So yes, we've been watching a lot of videos, I'll be like, okay, crumb coat and chill, crumb coat and chill, and then cover in fondant. I get that, you know, they, they live in a different climatic condition, where maybe the weather in their area is kind of already cold, as cold as maybe the fridge, or maybe they have an AC that is balancing the whole temperature, you know, from the fridge to the table but here we cannot do that because if you're moving it from the fridge and into your environment the temperature differences are so huge and that is why you have these issues so now the question of if margarine icing can exist under fondant is going to be answered in this video i'm watching it together with you guys so that i can explain the entire process for you i hope you understand it well and you're able to follow it and if you have any questions please you can ask in the comment section below and if you have anything to add to it please let me know uh, if you give me that information i can do a research on it to see if it will work with me or i will try it personally to see if it works for me and maybe we can redo it again maybe in another video but so far this is what i have been doing has been working for me so let's keep watching So here I'm using a knife, my serrated knife, and I'm leveling the cake. So you can level your cake, shape it and all of that. All right. You know, this whole video is fast forwarded. Um, that doesn't mean you have to be this fast. You can go slowly and, you know, level it well. Make sure your hands are straight, like stay straight and then you level, you stay straight and then you level. But that's how we are doing it. It's a gradual plot. Yo, yo. It's a gradual. <laughs> Damn. It's a gradual process. <laughs> so please take your time. And over here, I am doing, you know, the crumbs from the cake itself don't use any burnt part of your cake or anything you know just make crumbs so i'm using a pound cake check out the recipe in my description box okay the link sorry the link to the video is in my description box i have a video on this pound cake recipe i also use margarine with this cake okay so i have mixed up the crumbs those little crumbs are what i'm going to be mixing with the margarine icing so now i'm just kind of leveling the cake all up especially on the sides too making sure it's going to be straight and perfect um yeah yeah human beings is definitely not going to be perfect but you get what i mean <laughs> this is a human being making a cake not a machine but you know still has to you know look good right now i place my leveler on it to make sure it is leveled um, at some point that is this part is optional if you're already using a level instead of a serrated knife um, I think you mostly get it really leveled already so you wouldn't need this one so now this is the trick check out my margarine icing recipe I know most of you have watched it before because you know that's where all the questions came from now I'm just putting the margarine icing in the middle here this is not where the whole thing starts so I'm just placing the other cake on top of it 
I am not just simply covering it with a margin like this. I was just trying to block in any holes or anything left. But I'm going to set it aside and you now show you how I handle this. Now, this is something I learned in a cake class. I went for a cake class in Accra, I think with Baker's Bar Ghana. She learned it from, you know, someone she paid tuition learned. I also learned it from her. You know how the whole chain goes. So I really don't know the mother of this trick. But this is called a cake paste. Okay, I'm just, it's, it's cake, it's a cake paste. You are using margarine icing and then you are using crumbs from the cake and you are mixing it together to thicken it. But I realized one thing, if I make it too thick and I place it on the cake, sometimes it's removing, like it just falls off. So I don't make it too thick. But then I've mixed the crumbs of the cake with the margarine icing and I'm covering the entire cake with it. Take your time, take it slow. This video has been forwarded. You don't need to rush through it or nothing. Just take your time through this whole process. I'm so comfy in this, in my hoodie. <laughs> oh, I'll be sitting here with you guys and I'll be asleep, man. <laughs> okay. Alright. So just make sure it's, it's kind of smooth in a way. Not too s <laughs> well. Yeah, too smooth. Like, it can be very smooth if you want to. Like, it, it depends on your skill level. You know, I'm still in the intermediate level there. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, please, you can use a tissue for this side. I just, I don't know what I was doing here. I really don't. <laughs> All right. Now, using my icing sugar i sifted the icing sugar and this fondant i have a fondant recipe to check that out so that you see how i do my fondant is very like pliable it's soft it's stretchy i basically get you know just 10 percent or five percent fondant accidents over this recipe you know fondant can you know mess up your entire day but uh, this works this works all right, so what I do is first I measure the cake tin around it. So I baked an eight inch cake and I measured around it. And if I'm remembering correctly, every time I do this, I get about 24 around it, 24 inches around it or 23. I'm not sure, do that with yours so that you get the height you want to roll it to. And then you get the, well, yeah, the height. And then you measure the top from, from bottom to top it will be shown but I don't know why I'm talking about this now from the bottom to top and it's like 5 inches it's 5 inches so I'm doing 23 by 5 inches need your fondant to make sure it is soft you know leaving it overnight it hardens it's hard and everything so you need it well make sure it's soft before you start rolling Okay, so now you see where I'm doing the measuring, okay? Okay, so now I'm cutting it up, you know, I'm trying to keep it straight. 
one thing that I do is use a pizza cutter it's easy like it just rolls over it like this but this time I left it in my cake kitchen I was actually home doing this video I do these videos at home so the kitchen that I do my cake in like it has all the tools I forgot to pack it so I decided to use a knife and I did something really up here oh I cast I did something really effed up here because like you know my hand is crooked I am terrible with lines and I need I needed something like maybe a ruler or something but just make it like instead of five inches make it six inches so that later on trim it off after even covering it but I didn't do that so I you know I had some issue here and there and I fixed it I fixed it but not after I had freaked out for like five minutes straight so now I'm lifting the fondant and I'm covering the cake. You see the inch, the inch up there, uh, you know, it's like half an inch or something. Okay, so it was a little bit short, only on that side. But the rest, it was perfect. Only on, it was a little bit short, only on that side. But the rest, it was perfect. So I found myself freaking out. Okay. I was freaking out like crazy, but I was able to, you know, turn it around. Now I'm using my you know um cake smoothest and i'm bringing it all together like this i'm bringing it all together i'm making sure it comes close and then i can trim it off so one thing about paneling okay this method is called paneling one thing about it that people do not like at all is the fact that you know there is this line that is left at the end of the day also i left my edible spirit in my cake kitchen again so like this whole video was a mess <laughs> but that line that straight line what i do with it is i use an edible spirit especially when it's a, a little bit dried down and i pass it on top so it's like it smooth things it and it dries really seamlessly so you can do that with yours okay and now i have flipped the cake over so you roll for the top, you place it on top, you put another board on top and you flip it over. And this way, this is now how I am doing it right now. I'm just pushing the side one to the top one and it's all coming together. Okay, and it's all coming together. Push it in, push it in. Okay exactly take your time with this note again that this video is forwarded so cake needs patience and even though I was short of you know an inch or something I was able to still stretch it up and bring it together thank God because <laughs> Imagine baking an entire cake, rolling fondant and everything and messing it up, you know. This is not a makeup look you're doing that you'll be like, I'm cleaning it off and then I'll do it again. This is cake, man. Like, money lost. And all that. Okay, so now I'm using, you can use a knife here. This is this, um, I don't know if you see it well, but I bought it from a cake shop. I don't know the name of it. But maybe in future i think i need to purchase these things and maybe if somebody wants something found in this video i can just sell it to you okay because most of the time it's very hard for me to refer you to any place because most people purchase these items for me like i'm like i go to this shop do this for me that for me so i don't really have any place any trusted place i can tell you to go for it uh, but maybe you can open an online shop or something and everything you see in the video I can just sell it sell it to you um, but for now that I am almost broke um, let's wait a little <laughs> so make sure you smooth in the sides okay now this is the final board so now you can place maybe some margarine nice on top of it and then you can put it on you are also about to flip the cake again please be careful you are about to flip the cake all right so you hold the bottom and the top like this uh-huh i need my hand to come into it and then flip 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 so i'm showing you some jackie chan moves for your cake 
tool. This is the kick, and then you flip. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. You see the edges? Now these are kick edges that can cut you. You can pass your hand around it. Your, you can pass your fingers around it and it will cut you. Okay. So as I told you, that straight line, that could have easily been resolved with edible spirit. Or you can mix fondant with a little bit of water, make it smooth and you know, cover that line up. Sometimes too, because you are decorating the cake, maybe you are doing a... Um, any design like with flowers or anything you can easily cover it up or maybe you're doing raffles it can easily get covered up so that's not an issue um when i finish because i mostly roll my fondant in icing sugar you don't want a cake you don't want to deliver a cake with icing sugar around it so what i do is i use a cake steamer and that kind of make it a little bit like shiny and everything people are like oh, why, why is your fondant looking so glossy and smooth and all of that and my isn't it's really nothing. It's no added recipe. My recipe is not different from yours. It's just a cake smoother doing its job. Okay. All right. So you see. <laughs> All right. So that's the line I was talking about. And also, you don't really have to do only like this method, the paneling method. You can also roll your fondant and cover it straight up. Nothing will happen to it. Just cover it straight up. You make sure every part is covered and you flip the cake. You do the same thing that I showed you guys with this. You know, uh, just it's just a little bit different but the same thing applies. The same steps applies. So you can roll your cake. You cover at once, you put all the edges together and everything. Then you place another board on top, you flip, and then you use your smoother. Make sure you get the sharp edges and then you still cut that part with that knife and then you can flip it back. It's still the same. It's just that this method, you don't get that line, that straight line on the side like this. It's simple. So because of this, I wanted to show you guys it's so possible that I used a square cake that I had lying down I decided to roll that one too and cover it straight up so that you see how simple it is so you don't really have to use only the paneling method I showed you you can still cover it straight up and it will still work like magic okay so now this is the square cake this is a square cake. I'm just rolling the fondant right now. This I'm not now going to teach you how to mix the crumbs or the icing and all of that has been covered. So this is the square cake. I'm just measuring the sides, making sure that it's, it can cover everything. Okay, so now I'm just trimming the edges with a knife. Okay, so here you see that I'm using a straight knife instead of that wooden one with a kind of offset, you know, tip and everything. It's, it's not like that with this one. I was just using a straight knife. So if you don't have that too, it's still possible you can use a knife.
and uh, I hope this video was helpful. Once again, you have any questions, please do not forget to ask them in the comment section. I also have a website, fatiza.com. I make blog posts there, so maybe under any of them, whether the fondant recipe, whether the cake recipe, whichever recipe that I have shown. If you want to ask questions under it, I am more than available, you can do so. And um, you can also go to my Instagram, which is Faiza. It's Faiza everywhere, okay? Faiza everywhere. Faiza Twitter, Faiza on Instagram, Faiza on YouTube. Like, it's just across the board, and you can easily find me there. And you can ask all your questions. And if I have the answer, please remember if I have the answer, and if I'll be able to help. And then I will also try my best to answer your questions or maybe if I'm having any difficulty with a question I can also ask others to help me help you get the dread okay so now as it was with the round cake I am going to steam the cake you see the edges that we've created here edges 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 get this Edges, man, you can do this too. Okay, okay, now I'm going to steam the cake and make sure that all the icing sugar on it is gone. And uh, the cake at the end of the day, it's gone, it will dry up nicely. And you can do any other finishing touches you want to do on the cake. I hope this video was helpful. I really genuinely did this video for people who watched my margarine icing video and had a lot of questions about you know the margarine icing and it's working on that that. Um, I also kind of saw comments on how you know margarine is not good to be used, especially to cover a cake. Or something and you know margarine is trash kind of thing um, I'm highly not offended I feel like if you're in the US or UK or some other places um, butter is relatively cheaper at your end unfortunately where I am butter is very expensive so we kind of have to settle for margarine and we still are able to create this amazing looks with it so that's how come i guess people from the philippines and india related more with the marginizing video because you know marginizing is cheaper you want to do a business in the with cakes or you want to do cake for yourself getting butter i think here in ghana it's like um i felt about 20 cities now it's like 22 25 cities per like 200 grams and I don't know how to translate it for you to get it. like 20 cities is like my, my my two day meal or something no like breakfast lunch supper breakfast lunch supper two days like I'm not even funny right now like it's that's how expensive I think it is for me okay I'm broke I'm broke so yeah I see it as expensive <laughs> so if you have you want an alternative to butter margarine is there and if you think margarine is crap, it's okay, you can buy butter because you can afford it. I can't afford it, so ta-da! This highly works. <laughs> this highly works, okay? So thank you so much for watching my video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. So this is what happens. If you subscribe to my videos, I know you like them and I keep doing them. And, you know I feel motivated to do them okay let me know it was helpful by subscribing and liking the video and ask as many questions as you want to ask and more videos on cakes food makeup lifestyle will be coming up and uh, thank you so much for sticking with me to the end of the video and bye